Hello students, in this video we shall learn how to represent square root of 7 on the number line. First draw a number line. Mark a point O representing 0. Take a compass and you can take any measurement as one unit and draw three units on the number line. So we are going to draw three arcs. Keep the metal point at O. First arc representing 1. Second arc representing 2. Third arc representing 3. We will label it 1, 2, 3. So let's say this is A. At point A, we are going to construct a perpendicular. For this, we will take the compass, take more than half the distance keep the metal point here take more than half the distance and draw a semicircle like this and with the same measurement we are going to cut one arc this is for 60 degrees and this is for 120 degrees same measurement we are going to cut intersecting arcs join a and this point. Take one unit that is from 0 to 1. Keep the metal point at A and cut an arc. So what are we doing is here first we need to draw square root of 5. So join these two points now. This distance is square root of 5. This is 2 units. And this distance is 1 unit. So using Pythagorean theorem if you do let's label this as B. OAB is a right angle triangle and using Pythagorean theorem we can prove that this is square root of 5. Now using this as the base we will draw square root of 6. Keep the metal point here at B. Same way draw a perpendicular how you did previously. So we don't need a complete semicircle. This much is sufficient. Same measurement. We will cut one arc for 60 degrees, one arc for 120 degrees this is for 90 degrees from this point and then from this point these are not intersecting so we will extend it like this you can just erase the extra pencil mark join B and this intersecting point Again take one unit as the measurement and cut an arc from point B. Let's say this point is C. Join OC. OC represents square root of 6. Again, we can prove this using Pythagorean theorem, taking the triangle O, B, C. Now from C, we are going to draw a perpendicular again. You can take any measurement. Keep the metal point here. First arc for 60 degrees. Second arc for 120 degrees and we will draw intersecting arcs. So if it is not intersecting we need to extend it. Raise the extra pencil marking. Join these two points. So this is again 90 degrees. It should be proper here. Do it properly. 
join these two points and this is again a 90 degree angle take one unit that is from 0 to 1 you can take From C cut an arc, label this as D, join O D. O D represents square root of 7. Now measure this length O D. So this is the measurement of OD. Taking this as the radius, you draw an arc intersecting on the number line. This point here represents square root of 7. Let's label this as E. Now let's see how OD is equal to square root of 7. Take this triangle O C D. So in triangle O C D using Pythagoras theorem square root of 6 squared. Square root of 6 is O C or we can write first like this O C squared plus C D squared is equal to O D squared. Square root of 6 squared this is 1 unit plus 1 squared is equal to O D squared. Square root of 6 squared. So this 2 would cancel out. We are left with 6 plus 1 squared is 1 equals to O D squared. Or 7 is equal to O D squared. Or O D is equal to square root of 7. And we have taken OD as the radius and we have drawn this arc here. So therefore, OD is equal to OE and that equals to square root of 7. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.